Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to um, be watching Nieve and I am so excited and nervous. Now, when I was in New York, I they did sing Nieve in New York and again, um, I'm really sorry if I'm saying Nieve wrong. I'm hoping I'm saying it correctly. I think New York was the first time I heard Nieve. Now, what's really cool about the music video that they just came out with is that from what I've read from the interviews is that all the video footage that's from when they were in um their U their um US tour like when they went to San Francisco San Francisco <laughs> LA New York and also like Singapore Los Angeles did I say Los Angeles Dubai and I think that's it so it's all like that footage and apparently it's all black and white now Pablo did say like an interview to some press that I was thinking about the feeling of hopelessness and knowing and accepting that things are changing too fast. Time doesn't stop. Things around us happen so fast and at the end of the day, the snow will eventually melt away and fade. We have to live, in, live with it and pray there's always a ray of hope. Now, honestly, I think Pablo is almost like the king of poetry. Like the way he words things, it, I don't know how to explain it. It's really hard, like I can really relate to what Pablo's saying with like change. Time goes by so fast and you know, change is like a really scary thing. I kind of feel like from the thumbnail that, you know, it's all black and white so they they want like time to stop. Birds really represent freedom and with the thumbnail being black and white, it's like black and white kind of represent like time stopping and the birds being free. So I wonder if that kind of means like SB19 wants time to stop, but for them to also be free and experience like living in the moment. I know that's a, like a crazy thought, but I don't, that's what I kind of get, especially since this song is really about, you know, living in the moment, like Pablo said, and wanting to stop time. So you guys, let's get on to the first video. Okay, so we're gonna watch the three videos that came all came out called What is Uncertainty, What is Longing, and What is Hopelessness. Now I really kind of want to like see if I can dig deep into these three videos, they're very short, and then we're gonna get onto the visualizer. What is uncertainty? The way Pablo said that. Hold up. What is uncertainty? That that's very interesting because the way he said it, um, he said it in a certain like tone. It felt very I wouldn't say exactly sad. I'm kinda like picturing Pablo like sitting down on a chair, looking at like maybe a photo of all the SBNT members together. And like looking outside, kind of like the thumbnail, and seeing all like the birds and everything, and being like, "What is uncer uncertainty?" Like really, like deep processing, like deep thinking, um, thinking about life itself. And Pablo, like I said, is such a poet. Like again, I don't think it's really sad, but it's more like really deep into like thought, like it's a little sad, but like really deep in the thought about life. Okay, so what is longing? What is longing? Longing. Okay, so what is uncertainty? What is longing? What is? What is? Hopelessness. Hopelessness. So Pablo really gives us three different words. What is uncertainty? What is longing? What is hopelessness? I feel like you can take each of the words and write them down and have like 20 people look at them and every single person will come up with a different like visualizer on the words. Like everyone has a different view on what's uncertainty, what's longing, what's hopelessness. So I really think it, okay, so this really is like poetry because when you look at poetry um, um, and read a poem, Everyone has a different interpretation of what's happening, what's being represented in um, 
the beauty of like poetry what like what resonates with you basically and i think even each of the sp9 team members like they probably looked at each word and really thought like okay what like resonates with me like it's like i said it's like looking at poetry but you guys let's get straight on to the mv video i'm so excited now um i forgot to mention like Niebe means snow from from what I know correct me if I'm wrong but Niebe means snow and I heard a lot of people when Niebe came out it started snowing now I live in Iowa and it's been snow on the ground for a while now but I don't know it really feels like Christmas with this song the SP19 came out but you guys let's get on to the video here we go what is uncertainty Oh, so they put them all together, yes. basically. Longing. Longing. What is? Hopelessness. Hopelessness. The way he says that. What is? What is? <gasps> huh. What is? The way he said that last part after uncertainty longing hopelessness what is is the the ending question i wonder if he's going to answer that and or if he wants us to figure out like what we want to know oh my gosh i just don't know <laughs> oh my gosh hold up hold up let me turn up my volume Beautiful. Honestly, it's taking me back to the concert. Like hearing this, and like I'm, it's like I'm picturing everything at the concert in their faces. video when they're at the beach <laughs> the way that they filmed everything like the landscapes like even like the rough moments in life within this video 
of living on the streets and every moment in life, basically. They're really like showing I, it really feels like a documentary of SB19 and like us seeing like what like looking through their eyes of what's happening. Imagine them wanting time to stop at the concert. Oh my god, stop! I'm getting grown! No, I can't cry. You hold up. Oh, baby! I love this whole song so much. Justin Phil, me. I love You can tell this whole music video is so emotional and it draws you in with the emotion. And seeing them happy like that is like the best feeling. Oh my god! How can we reset the life we've created for ourselves? Who to blame? Who's to credit but us? Who can we change it? Anytime you wish but us. You guys. <laughs> okay, so how can we reset life we create for ourselves? Who to blame? Who's to credit but us? See, that's such, that's so interesting that they chose that quote because it really resonates. And again, it's almost like poetry, like figuring out for yourself what resonates with you. And I don't know if you guys know this, but I was literally, tears were falling down my face in the beginning of this video. It just, you could felt the impact and the power of an effort of like everything that they put into this video and how how it like I just don't know how to explain it that was like so beautiful and poetic them sharing with us their experiences and like us looking like through their eyes and their emotions their vulnerabilities their um everything about them they let us see all these different sides of them and what they're seeing they showed like beautiful landscapes they showed messages of people on the sidewalk it's it's so like looking at life itself and realizing where you're at and what you want to do i don't just seeing them happy and experiencing like being in the u.s and having fun and just wanting moments to stop like i totally get that like it's I don't, I just, I'm excited to see what else SV19 does and I'm excited for them for their concert here soon, the homecoming concert. I know, it's gonna be great you guys, so yes, <laughs> I'll see you guys again here soon, so.
Bye.